Using Windows on Mac shouldn't be this complicated, and since the release of the Apple M1 chip, Macs no longer support Bootcamp, the native app that made it possible to run both Mac and Windows. But that changes today with Parallels. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows 11 on your Mac using Parallels desktop. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is Parallels? This is basically a virtual machine that lets you run Windows 11, Linux, or even another version of Mac OS directly on your Mac, so you can run them side by side without needing to purchase any additional hardware or computers. It's a really simple way to get your hands on another operating system if you only have a Mac. But in today's video, we'll be going over all the cool features that really makes Parallels the perfect option, especially if you're a college student, for general productivity, and we'll also do a gaming test towards the end of this video. Now, now, I'm using a 2021 MacBook Pro for this demo, but this process will work for pretty much any Mac that has an M chip and some Intel based Macs as well. And real quick, a huge shout out to Parallels for sponsoring today's video. Let's get right into it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the installation process itself. It's super simple. All you need is your Mac and an internet connection. I would also recommend keeping it plugged in just in case we're running a little low on battery, but all you gotta do simply is head on over to the Parallels website. It'll be linked down below. You'll notice that there's actually two different versions of Parallels desktop. You have the standard edition which is perfect for basic tasks like running windows on your mac for schoolwork microsoft 365 all that awesome stuff but then you also have the pro edition if you're planning on doing more intensive stuff like gaming graphic designing running resource heavy applications um so that's the pro version and uh yeah in this video we're going to be using the pro version here shout out to parallels for the free one year subscription um but i would also recommend just signing up for their 14 day free trial and see if it offers you everything you need but you guys can see here it's very simple once it's on your desktop you pretty much just follow all of the setup instructions it'll download windows 11 automatically for you keep in mind this version of windows will not come activated but you can still use it as you normally would with just a few limitations um, but yeah the process is very quick here it does everything for you it's only a few different steps for someone who doesn't use windows very often like me i mean i've been using mac for a very long time um, this was very nice to see especially considering it took like just 15 minutes from um, the minute I downloaded Parallels. So yeah, it's really cool to see how quick this process really is, but now that we're actually set up with Windows 11, let's go ahead and test it out and download some apps. But real quick, you'll notice just how quick and buttery smooth this virtual machine is. I mean, considering it's running both Mac OS and Windows at the same time. Now, one of the first things I did here was install Google Chrome, Steam, pretty much all the apps that I plan to use. But one thing I did want to preface is just depending on the kind of things you plan to do with Windows, you'll definitely want to go into your configuration settings. You have to shut down the virtual machine first. And then you'll notice here, for example, like this was set to six gigabytes by default, which in my opinion felt kind of low, especially for the MacBook Pro. This thing has 16 gigs of RAM to start with. So I bumped it up to eight, which is half, of course. And the reason I did this is because the MacBook has physical constraints. I mean, this thing can only run so many apps on parallels before things start to slow down. And again, this is really gonna depend on what Mac you have, the amount of RAM it has, and what you're ultimately planning to do with parallels. But real quick, you may have also noticed here that I maximized the screen, really just making this feel like a true Windows experience with my MacBook tucked away. And it's kind of hard to tell just by looking at this desktop that we're actually running a virtual machine, which honestly is the goal that we want to achieve with something like this. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now, you might have also noticed this blue button here. This is actually called coherence mode. It's really good for multitasking between Mac OS and Windows. So basically like the way it works is if you have something like Steam opened up on Windows, if you put it into coherence mode, it'll look like a regular app that's just running within the Mac OS operating system. It even shows up on the dock itself, but realistically, it's actually running in Windows 11. And I thought this is kind of cool. So like when you open it up, you can like move it around. So everything on the right hand side is on Windows. Everything on the left hand side is on Mac. Um, and yeah, I'm just like a really big fan of multitasking in general. You know, sometimes we need to copy and paste something from one operating system to the other. And the nice thing here is the clipboard is also shared between both Mac OS and Windows. So for example, if I have my main email open up here and I wanna test and see if this sponsorship email is legit, I'm probably not gonna to wanna to click this email on my Mac because there's a good chance this might be a hacker. But with Parallels, I have an isolated and sandbox version of Windows 11. And I can open this link up knowing it's not gonna like take my YouTube channel down or anything like that. 
that. And yeah, having both of these windows side by side just makes my workflow so much easier. And there's like so many different use cases for coherence mode. So yeah, definitely something you'll want to check out. And uh, yeah, the cool thing here also is you can access all of your Mac files from within Windows as well, which I thought was kind of neat. Now, the next thing I want to quickly go over was just app compatibility in general. You may have heard that some apps just work a lot better on Windows. Take a look at Microsoft Excel, for example. If I have this Excel spreadsheet saved on my Mac OS uh, desktop here, I can right click it and actually open it with Excel and it'll open the app directly in Excel for Windows 11, which is pretty cool to see. And you can also pop this into coherence mode and have that side-by-side -side view. I know that some students might have to use certain programs that are only available on Windows 11, but let's say you have a Mac, this is a great alternative. You can run both Mac and Windows, and this way you'll be able to use whatever app you need to use. Maybe it's AutoCAD, maybe it's a certain version of Microsoft Excel, maybe you need to unlock some macros that are only available on Windows. You do have that option when running the Windows 11 interface. And last but not least is a quick gaming test using Beamung. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I have this running on Steam via Windows 11. I have a little controller here as well. You might also hear my MacBook. It's like at full fan speed right now, so it might be a little loud, I do apologize. But you guys can see here, it's not bad. Um, I have the FPS limited to 30, so um, yeah, I mean, frames might drop here and there, but it's it's definitely playable. Now, obviously, if you add like AI traffic and stuff, then it's gonna slow down. But honestly, if you just wanna play a game just for fun with you know things that don't move around too much, there's not too much happening on the screen, um, I think it's playable. I think it's possible for sure. And it's kind of cool that we're able to run this in Windows as well. But I did have to actually bump up my RAM to 12 gigs in order to actually get this to work. Um, because otherwise it just became really, really slow. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can do another quick little maneuver here. Change up the camera if we can. That is definitely interesting. So gaming works. Is it gonna be pleasant? It'll depend on how much RAM you have, how much you've allocated to parallels as well. But I mean, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's not bad at all. And I'm gonna play around with this game a little bit more in my free time because I've actually really wanted to play this game for the longest time. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some custom cards into there. So yeah, that's Parallels for Mac. I think it's a very awesome platform, especially when you wanna run both operating systems side by side simultaneously. Um, and again, like the Mac is by no means a gaming computer, but if you're using it for basic Windows tasks or just looking to run Windows apps, Parallel Standard is honestly such a great option, but if you wanna kick it up a notch, try some games, you know, play around more, have more flexibility when it comes to choosing your RAM, the Pro Edition is obviously a really great option. But if you guys are interested in checking it out, Parallels is currently running a 35% off promo on their Standard, Pro, and Business Editions. It's valid up until August 26, 2025. If you're interested, be sure to use code CLASSIC35 at checkout. I'll have the links down below if you're a student, you can get up to 50% off. Educational pricing will be linked down below as well. And real quick, if you do hear my MacBook in the background, the fan is still on, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.